Hello everybody and welcome to the Mega Modded Character Showcase. We are going to be jumping in again and actually checking out a character we have seen before. We're going to be checking out the Deleted again, mainly because the Deleted received a pretty major update recently that's added a bunch of new things. As you can see here, we can actually go and change modes and there's lots of different things we can do now as the deleted. There's many different modes, as you can see. But yeah, we can actually choose which one we want to play here. I haven't really decided yet what we want to do. Um, oh damn, there's like a random mode. So we've got the I Love You mode. Red hearts only. Corrupt, uh, corrupt items no longer have negative effects. A worm that spreads love infecting millions. Morris starts with the D14, a six room charge pocket item which corrupts one room only. A harmless computer worm gone rogue. The Zip Bomber. No corrupted items. Use Extract to reroll any item while adding a negative effect to it. A malicious um, archive file that causes crashes. The Crypto Locker. No red hearts. Corrupted effects are um, concealed, but they provide a damage bonus. A cyber attack in which the victim is bribed. Spyware. Deleted is stuck in the corrupted form and using clean air to reverse the corruption. Uh, Anti-spyware software, definitely nothing else. Um, the the Jerus Salem Salem Jerus Salem Eden mode uh, starts with random stats, items, and appearance. Uh, an old virus which spawns many variants. So I'm not exactly sure what this one means. I'll be honest. Um, but we can try out a bunch of different ones here. We've also got um, Hikaridismus. Hikaridismus. I don't know how to pronounce that. Deleted can't pick up health for each um, for each negative effect gain half a soul heart. Ooh, Windows virus is playing a fake BSOD. VCS custom mode, uh, customized settings inside of the mod config. Okay, and then we got locked, and then here's random. Um, I'm not really sure. I kind of want to try the Eden mode. Um, that sounds interesting. I don't exactly know what that entails. I'm really not sure, but yeah, look, we can maybe try out a few of these. So let's uh, well, let's go with this one to start. Um, I think we can just head into a room now and... Uh... Oh, okay. Uh... So one thing I'm unsure of is, do I get corrupted items? Why is there so many batteries? What's going on? So what does this do? What in the hell? The What the hell's going <laughs> on? Okay. Um... So we've got this thing going on uh, that seems to be just an absurd active item. So I'm just going to try... Oh my lord. I'm just going to try this out and sort of see where this goes. But I'm not sure. Is this just literally just Eden with like one random active? It seems... Because we're not getting deleted items as you can see here. So I'm not exactly sure on this one, but... We can, we can sort of restart and try a, a few different variants out. Let's play out the first floor with this guy and uh, see what else is uh, going on with him. But we probably want to go with the uh, the corrupted version. Also, modded items can now affect um, the deleted items. And there's a lot of on-kill effects that have been added too. So a lot of exciting new stuff to go through. Uh, so I do want to try it out a little bit. I want to try killing the boss with this active first though and just see what happens. Because this seems pretty nutty. But we'll, uh, we'll kill this dude and... Uh, <laughs> Use this. Look how many bodies there is following us. Oh my lord. Okay, so it does seem like this is just a straight up Eden with a corrupted item. So let's let's try out a different one, shall we? Let's uh bit flip here and go with Um Under Construction. I love you. Um Let's have a little look see. No red hearts, corrupted effects are um concealed, but they provide a damage bonus. Deleted is stuck in corrupted form. Use clean to reverse corruption. Eden starts with random items. Deleted can't pick up health for each negative effect. Gain half a soul heart. Let's try out this one, shall we? This seems very dangerous. I like the idea of it. Let's give it a go. But yeah, there's a, there's a lot of different stuff you can do. And what a, what a fitting heart to get right off the bat there. A lot of different stuff you can do with this guy. Uh, we've also started with a um, apple of Sodom as well, which is why we can't gain health. So we can bit flip here. Um... On HP, 5% chance to use Vegemite a ton of times. On bomb spawn a tier, extra speed, gain glaucoma until hit, spawns a golden troll bomb. Let's give it a go. So we gain some speed, we gain half a soul heart there for our negative effects. And yeah, this is this is getting pretty cool. Of course, we got just a bunch of glaucomas there. Um, 
which is getting kind of a strange thing. we got to remember to run into hearts here as well. Um, but yeah, we're going to be seeing a lot of wacky effects. I don't know if I'm going to play like a full run as just this one version, or if I'm going to try out a few different styles. I'm not sure yet. But this seems like the best the best one, because we, we basically have to take corrupted items. We don't have a choice, otherwise we'll die, which I really like the idea of. We've got to um, keep going. Of course, we can still get... Uh, Hearts from, like, the floor and stuff, I think. We can still get, like, random drops. But otherwise, we're kind of in the shitter, so to say. Um, and yeah, I, I love the I love the idea of that. So let's uh, let's carry on with this. Also, this is a genuinely very, very, very good trinket for us to get. Because this is essentially... Oh, half. This is essentially just unlimited keys. Which is going to mean that we can see more item rooms and such. I'm a little worried about my health here, but there you go. Uh, of course, we do still have all the other mods on that we normally do. I think one thing we are missing on this save file is the Mastema, Job, and um, and Andromeda unlocks, just because I haven't unlocked those on this save file. But otherwise, all the other items we could normally see will be showing up as usual. So, right, can we get, gain health from this? Nope, we cannot. That didn't do anything at all. Okay. So that's, that's good to know. We're going to have to be very careful, and we're going to have to... We're going to have to take on quite a lot of negative effects to, to keep ourselves alive here. Uh, which is a really fun design decision. I, I like it. It's probably going to create some really hellish uh, hellish things. But otherwise, I'm, I'm quite excited to see what this what this run ends up creating. Oh, really? I tried to get that bomb to hit him, but couldn't quite get it there. We can also, like, corrupt whenever we want as well. But yeah, this is sort of a similar version to the classic deleted that we saw before, but with some new additions and a very interesting um, health modifier that's going to cause some some more chaos. And we've got to we got to say we got to love chaos, haven't we? There we go. We got him. We got him with a bomb. So we get full health, damage up, speed up, or we can go with demon's tail. Each dice room we get an item. On hit we get nugget until the end of the room. After three hits spawn a random monster, every 90 seconds, 7% chance to spawn a random monster. Every two rooms, 24% chance to spawn 17 troll bombs. That sounds really, really good. <laughs> every single room, every two rooms, sorry, we have a, a fat chance of getting uh, some, some really negative stuff going on, so... Excited for that. Very excited indeed. Um, <laughs> my God, let's uh, let, let's let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and just see see what we can perpetuate. So it's, it's weird. We kind of want as many items as possible. The negative effects. Oh my God, they're gonna stack. <laughs> they are going to stack out of control. Also, that's a good trinket right there. Oh God. Okay, so now we have Nugget. So, Nugget's actually a great item because of this. Uh, I didn't even think about this. We can actually get hit on purpose to um, to get Nugget for a room if we want it, which is going to allow us to find secret rooms, which I'm going to try and do now. Um, see if we can find one. Good. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. And we, oh wait, oh, there's there's our 17 troll bombs. We still have Nugget as well, which it said for a room. So I'm not quite sure what's going on here. We did just get a ton of money though, which is awesome. Okay. <laughs> Some wacky stuff going on here. Right. We can't even buy the health. Let's see what this is corrupted. Whoa. Okay. Speed upgrade every 40 seconds. Geared shiny rock on health. 4% chance to use a lot. I don't know why it, like, has so many of them. Every six rooms spawn a white fireplace. Oh, God. I can't, I, I can't take that. That's such a bad idea. <laughs> um, what's the other item we got here as well? We can grab that now, too, which is nice. Um, oh, I should have bought that. Each boss get less shot speed. Spawn three times trinkets. We definitely want to buy that. Unfortunately, we do not have the ability to uh, get any money out of our donation machine, which is a little upsetting. We'll try and get the money here, though. I d I'm guessing we just we just have Nugget forever now. I thought it meant we'd get it temporarily, but it seems like we just have Nugget, which honestly, I love. Nugget's a really good item. And this is a fine example of modding actually working in our favor now. But yeah, Nugget's kind of a weird item because you want to miss. You want to be you want to be narrowly missing. 
um, every enemy, you don't want to be hitting them, because it doesn't actually give you a big damage boost, it just gives you this explosion effect, so we do have to be a little more cautious about how we fire, and it obviously has lowered our fire rate to a very low amount, we have to be sort of conscious of that too. As you can see, we can actually hit the enemy and we get no explosion. So that's like, I want to say, I wouldn't call it a big issue really, but we just got to be sort of conscious of that. Because the explosion from Nugget is huge. As you can see, we're destroying basically everything whenever we do it. There you go. Got all of them. I'm really hoping we can get this money now. I'd be really upset if we can't. Especially considering it spawns three times trinkets and we can now hold two trinkets. There we go. Extra bomb. Don't think bombs are going to be super useful. There's our troll bombs. There's our good old troll bombs. <laughs> I love that. Right, so let's blow up that. Stop giving us spiders every time we blow up a pot, please, game. We'll check for secret room. Don't actually know where it would be, to be honest. Let's go have a little look around, shall we? Hmm. I'm not sure where second secret room is right now. We'll keep looking around there. Go there, dead. There, dead. There's a penny. Maybe we're getting there. <laughs> oh, there's that item room. I kind of forgot we still had an item room, I'll be honest. So annoying when you accidentally hit the enemy. There you go there. Right, let's check what we got here. Oh, I forgot we'd have one of these coming up. Let's be a little careful here. Okay. Killing these guys is a little bit painful. But not too bad. How are you not dead? God damn. Right. Oh my god, I forgot, I forgot. Scatterbomb or... Get Spirit Sword upon... This is just terrible, but I, I'm, I'm taking it. I want it. So, we gained Spirit Sword, which is pretty good. Big problem here, though. 49% chance upon going to the next floor to get two Broken Hearts. I'm fairly sure that's going to kill us. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, now we still have Nugget. And we get Spirit Sword. Pretty good stuff. Oh, I don't know. I don't even know why I picked up Squeezy there. That was such a bad idea. Right. Will we die? This is the gamble of all gambles. We gained a broken heart. We did not die. I love this. <laughs> I love this. Mimic Chest. We'll try it out because I've got a mod that adds new stuff to Mimic Chests. But yeah. Spirit Sword here. Great get for us. Great get. Puts our damage concerns out the window. Means that Nugget isn't as big of a problem. In fact, Nugget is only positive now. God damn. <laughs> that troll bomb thing. I love this percent. This new percent chance effect is really good. I like that a lot. Like that's that's definitely like a new thing. Good. Extra key. Extra penny. Remember the blue room. Now that we've got Spirit Sword, this isn't a problem at all. We can easily trash these guys. Also, we've got some flies here. I don't know what these flies are doing, but... Ooh, we don't know what we're getting here. Right, gamble. We got a big old damage up, but we have no idea what negatives that had on us. This... I was just about to say, this could literally ruin our run. Um, and seemingly it did. Seemingly it very much did. Uh, because upon entering that room, we seem to have reset the entire floor. Which makes me think that we've got golden hourglass crocking for some reason. Okay. 
We've, we've bricked the entire run. <laughs> Upon entering a new room, it restarts the entire floor. I'm fairly sure that's what we've got going on here. Right. I'm fairly sure that's what we've got going on here. Upon completing a new room. Also, we, we now have the, the hourglass as an active. Don't know where that came from. I think we've bricked this run. <laughs> oh, maybe not. It's going to do it again, though, isn't it? Uh, it tried to, but it seemed to fail. Oh, my God. I've got such low health here as well. God damn, this guy having creep is the worst for us. We just cannot get close to him. Oh, we spawned a host upon getting hit. That's new. We're so dead here. The worst curse we could possibly get for this floor. Entire floor has been reset. We, we, we have to restart. We've bricked the run. <laughs> it's funny. Right, um... We'll go, we'll go as this guy again. I like this dude. <laughs> That's the risks you take if you take Curse of Light stuff. Shouldn't have done it, but I had to. Should not have done it. <laughs> oh, God. This is, this is so cursed, and I love it. So, so cursed. My lord. Right, let's play this one out. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm almost certain what we had then is upon new room, activate golden hourglass. Golden hourglass teleports you back to the starting room and resets every single room like a D7. Um, it's generally a pretty good item because um, obviously normally it means just a bunch more loot. And I think it has a 50% chance to break upon use, but obviously if it's baked into another item, it can never break. And just activates on every single room, which makes it basically useless. <laughs> But that's, that's the benefit of knowing what modded items do, <laughs> I guess. Right, so we got to forget me now. Or um, we have... Instead of dying once... Okay, so that's good. Um, on boss kill, get uh, Keeper Sack. Spawn 16 tiers. Upon going to the next floor, spawn a square. Yeah, I'll take that. That's a 16 tiers. That gives us half a soul heart. I can't believe it only gives you half a soul heart per negative effect. <laughs> kind of savage. But yeah, we're going to get Keeper's uh, Sack, which is, oh god, which is really good. Try and utilize that. Right. Boss fight, we don't have any bombs, so that's going to be a little tough. But yeah, th so far I realized that I could go and play another variant of um of the deleted but i actually really like this one this 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 one makes you take negative effects you can't escape it i like that i think that's a really really cool idea okay that was necessary i'm very glad i had a bomb for this guy oh there you go there's our keeper's sack There is the Keeper's Sack. Use the Sun card. Get hit um, every two... Get hit... On hit, get two every 60 seconds. What? <laughs> get two. Um, on hit, lose one bomb. On hit, chance to spawn five purple fireplaces. That is a big fat no from me. I'm sorry. That, that cannot be done. <laughs> Anything that's like on hit, chance to hurt me again... I just, I can't in good faith accept. Um, ooh, Book of Lucifer. Damage up for the current room. We've also got a reflected something or other in here, apparently. Uh, this, the Bible is apparently reflected, even though it's not visually reflected. Right. On boss kill, uh, use two times Soul of Eve. On th every 35 kills, <gasps> that, we need that. We need that. That is so good. 
that's an active item that we that we can get. Oh, no, no, because it spawns health on the floor. It's actually not that good. Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I thought that could give us some really good health. Um, We got spandages, spandages. Each boss kill, you reverse strength. Um, Every room summon a hot bomb. Okay. Uh, then here we've got plus one. Whoa, that's a lot of luck. The accurate seven. Um, every four minutes, that's that's actually really good. I think we should take that. Um, and then here, ooh, get Adam's rib twice until nothing. <laughs> Shot speed, every 10 seconds, 30% chance to... 99% chance to minus one luck. That's insane. We need... Okay, I was going to say we need that. No, we need that. Okay, we kind of need both of these. First of all, we, of course, either need flight or health to get them. So, not even worth considering yet. But there is some intriguing, heavily intriguing effects in there. Some, some that really make me quite excited. Ten, every 10 seconds, a 13% chance to spawn a chest is insane. God, I hate rooms like this. Nowhere to move. Enemy that fucking fires in four directions. Just stressful. The kind of irony is the we have to take negative effects so that we can get more negative effects right now. We, we really just need flight. I mean, what I could do is take the actual Bible. The only problem with that is that the actual Bible is the thing we want to reverse. But then again, I could drop it. Actually, okay, do you know what? Actually, we've got a... As long as it can still be reversed once picked up, which I don't actually know for sure. I think it can. But we might be able to make a play with it. But we need we need enough health to actually grab it first. Which is difficult. <laughs> Everything about this is difficult. Please give me, like, three soul hearts somehow. Dude, these flies. Stop going over the rocks. Dude, stop. <laughs> Why are they so attracted to getting over the top of rocks? This is so frustrating. Ooh, what's this? The soul cleaver. S uh, splits collectibles into item wisps. What the hell? Or, upon going to the next floor, use a pill. Um... Okay, it spawned 29 poop with flies. Oh my god. <laughs> Take it. Okay, okay, okay. Right. We can now formulate a plan over here. Let's begin. So, first things first. Grab the Bible. Okay, this helps. <laughs> so, flight. Achieved. We put that down. We put that down. Get our bookworm. Then we bit flip. Right. So, we want this, definitely. Wait, no, so... We definitely want this first, because that's going to give us 40... <laughs> 48 luck. Yes. Um, that was a passive, apparently. I did not realize that was a passive. Um, okay. Uh, okay, so we gained Adam's Rib, which is perfect. So, wait. I'm very confused right now. Because it says that all of these are actives, but they're not. They're passives. Why is that? <laughs> like, look, it literally says four room charge. We've got a lot of Adam's ribs going on. Okay, so now we have a 20% chance every... Like, a 26% chance every 10 seconds to spawn a chest. I can't believe we got 46 luck. My lord. This is a hard room. But I wonder when we're going to start seeing chests spawn. I wonder how having multiple Adam's ribs works, by the way. Really not sure. There's some chests. Oh my god. <laughs> this is... <laughs> this is getting nuts. Oh my lord. This is getting so crazy. 
Um, each room spawn a coin on uh, on grab bag. Extra tears up every nine rooms. Use ventricle razor. Extra damage. Um, get revelation until hit on room. Every uh, golden heart. Lose three times random items. I can't do that. I'm sorry. Every, all the benefits there are good, but I cannot. I cannot lose three times random items. What if I accidentally lose some of my luck? Oh my fucking life. Oh god. <laughs> you see that room? Oh, this is... What the fuck? <laughs> oh, this is nuts. Oh, red poops. Red poops, red poops. Um... Upon uh, going to the next floor, spawn five mum's dressing table, skin temporary on 33 kills, spawn a half heart every 13 rooms. Okay, we just, we just want to take this. Oh my lord. Oh, oh god. Where did all they come from? <laughs> oh, this is a hellish room. Oh my god. We keep using um thingy when we pick stuff up. Uh what's its name? The crystal ball. Every time we pick stuff up, we use crystal ball. So we get mapping, potential for soul heart, and a bunch of cards. Foiled hanged man. We've needed flight in the past, so we'll hold on to that. This is insane. <laughs> That was pretty good. Oops, I didn't mean to use that. Um, on nine kills, gain luck, summon 56 player creep red. Um, on heart, okay. Whoa. Hey, we got cracked dice. Not that I want it, but cracked dice is one of the items that you can get from my new chest pools. This, uh, this is, oh, I actually forgot. I completely forgot that the video isn't out yet. Um, you guys don't know about that mod, do you? Um, I made a mod that adds new item pools. Well, I say I made a mod. I had the idea for a mod and got majorly helped in making it by Pedroff, um, the creator of the Ipecac mod. He was a big help in helping me code it. Um, why can't I get into the secret room? Why do I keep missing it? Um, yeah, he was a huge, huge, huge help in making that. And, um, yeah, it, it adds new item pools, like unique special item pools to haunted and spiked chests. I forgot, like, I made a, I made a video where I talked about it for, for the, for the streak, but I'm, like, on a 15 video backlog, so you guys haven't seen that yet. So, yeah, I made that. That's a thing. What the hell? Sister Viz. We can handle Sister Viz. I mean, we're not particularly strong, I'll admit. Oh, you have put yourself in a bad spot there, dude. Oh, here comes that Eve birds, though. Here they come. Right. Each room get a temporary eye. Get um, that until hit. Um, use 11 times pills. Upon next floor, 3% chance to lose a random item on boss kill. 71% chance to spawn 30 random monsters. Sounds good. Um. Two of one. Oh, I, I, I thought you could use two reverse emperors on one floor. Apparently you cannot. Oh my god, this is the starting room. No, no. <laughs> Never re-enter the starting room. Bad things will happen. Oh my lord, I love this. This, this is the sort of run that I wanted. Oh, we can't even take soul hearts. God damn it. I just wasted a key on that. We're getting so much good stuff. Shop is pretty good for us here. We got tons of money somehow. I don't actually know how we quite have as much money as we do. 
Right. <laughs> Keep us sack, you funny. I will take it, though, because it'll give us a start upgrade. Oh, my God. Why? Why, game? Why? Every time. I don't know what causes the red poops to spawn. Hey, magic eight ball. Um, have a little look, see what the bit flips is. Hey, every tier's up three minutes, spawn around a machine. Um, every 20 seconds, 9% chance of spawn around a monster. Hell yes. I'm loving these new percent chance effects. They're really good. Lots of dumpy rooms on this floor. What the hell? Oh, God. That's a lot of dudes that are going to explode. Empress. Oh, what the hell? That bomb went backwards. It's not what I intended at all. Oh my lord. What the fuck? What the fuck? What is this? What's going on? Oh no. It won't stop. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> oh my lord, we've reached critical mass! What is this? What on earth is happening right now? Um, we have reached critical mass, people. So anyways, this was, this was the new deleted update. I hope you enjoyed. Oh my lord. How? Why aren't I dead yet? What's happening? Okay, there you go. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> That's incredible. That was genuinely amazing. I hope you enjoyed that absolute carnage. I will definitely be playing more of the deleted. It is just amazing. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.